So now we live in a time where I can use my iPad as a display for my Xbox. Let me show you exactly how I get that done. So just to quickly give you guys an idea of what I'm doing here, this isn't cloud gaming, this isn't using some sort of application to get this done, I'm literally using my iPad Pro right here as a dummy display to get HDMI in with a dongle, and here's my Xbox Series S, as well as my Xbox controller, and if I start to play with it, you can see that it'll open up all my games, it'll work, again I'm not using Xbox Cloud Gaming, I'm literally using my iPad as a display for my Xbox, and now I'm going to show you how to do it. And what's crazy is that you only need three simple things here. So first and foremost, you're going to need this free app called Orion, which I'll link down below. No affiliation with them or anything like that. They do have an in-app purchase for maybe 4K upscaling, but it's not needed, especially if you're a casual gamer. The second thing you're going to need is this HDMI dongle right here. This isn't a regular HDMI dongle, this is a capture card. While most HDMI dongles for something like your iPad or your iPhone will help you get the video that's going on on the iPad to an external display, this does the opposite. This basically allows you to bring video in to the iPad as opposed to video out, and that's going to be a capture card. This one I believe is only $20. There are some much better ones. I believe Elgato has a 4K one, but the prices are going to increase at that point if you want better latency, if you want more frame rate, if you want things of that nature. But if you're a casual gamer, this one is going to be more than enough, and most people are happy with it, especially like myself. I'm a casual gamer. I play things like NCAA 25, I play mostly sports games, and I'm not playing first-person shooters. And then lastly, you're going to need some sort of iPad. It doesn't need to be an iPad Pro, it could be the cheaper entry-level iPad, the only thing that you need is a USB-C connection. And technically, this will work on Macs as well, as long as you download the Orion app, because the Orion app is what allows the system to be recognized as a dummy display. But now let me show you exactly how to get this all set up very quickly, so you can do this yourself, and it'll be done in a flash. Well, alright everyone, let's hop right into this, and to give you guys my setup overall, I am rocking the new M4 iPad Pro, but like I said, it does not need to be a new M4 iPad Pro in order to get this done. This isn't exclusive to the iPad Pro, it's basically for any iPad that has a USB-C port. Then I have my Xbox Series S, this will work with anything that gives a video out, so any game console, even computers, so again, anything that gives video out. And then I have my HDMI dongle, which again, is not a dongle, this is a capture card, so it reverses the direction of the video input, allowing for this to happen. If you just use a regular dongle that you buy from Best Buy, or even just an HDMI dongle on Amazon, this will not work. So I'll link this specific one down below, and if you want one that's a little bit more higher quality, that gives you much less latency and supports 4K, I'll leave another one linked down below by Elgato, which does the same thing, just a little bit better. But again, I've had this one for over three years, and for casual gamers, it's more than enough. And the thing that brings all this together is going to be the Orion application. So this Orion application is basically going to allow your iPad to be a dummy display. You can technically download this, and there are some other versions for desktop, so if you do have your MacBook Air and you want to use that as your dummy display, this will work that way as well. But there's a couple things you need to know about this application. Like I said, it is free to download and they do support 1080p out of the box. But if you go into your settings and go to Upgrade to Pro, you get to see what you get out of this. So it is $5. It allows you to change the actual video picture settings in real time. But again, if you're okay with 1080p, then you'll be good to go because you still get access to all this stuff. And then you also have the review manual right here, which will walk you through everything I'm about to talk about. And also it allows you to try a demo so you can see what this is like if you do become a pro member, because you can adjust a few things here, like the visual effects, which is nice. You can make it a CRT TV if you want to, to give you that look. Also, you can change what that looks like. So the app is pretty robust and it's, I like the nostalgic feel of it all because again, it makes you feel like you're plugging it into an actual TV, which is very cool. But now let me show you how to actually get this done because it is very simple. Make sure your Xbox or whatever console you're using is turned on. And then all you do is you plug your HDMI cable onto this end and then the other end into the iPad and we'll see what happens. And then voila, there you have it. You are now running your Xbox natively on your actual iPad Pro. And again, this is not cloud gaming. This isn't something that I'm porting over. This is literally the Xbox in all of its glory running on my beautiful display. And because this is HDMI and USB-C, Obviously the video comes out of here, but also the audio. So if you go into the game, the audio will be transferred over to the amazing quad speaker system of the iPad Pro. This is gonna be full volume. It's gonna get pretty loud in a second. So again, I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay here just so you guys can see what the latency is like. I've used this in competitive settings with this game specifically, and the latency is not enough for me to warrant buying a $100 dongle versus a $20 dongle, but I can see how some latency, especially in like first-person shooters where you rely on that kind of stuff, could be affected, but again, 
casual gamers rejoice for 20 bucks you can get this done but i definitely think it looks fantastic especially with the tandem oled of the new ipad pro it's just a wonderful way to be able to play this on the go and again if you want to keep it even more minimal you can just get an 11 inch ipad pro to get the same tech but also just get a smaller form factor Overall, I think this is awesome, and this is the way that I play on the go, but then also, if for instance, my TV is taken up by somebody else in the house, I can just pull this up and be able to use it that way. So again, this is a perfect setup for those casual gamers that wanna use your iPad as a display for something like your Xbox. So that will just about do for this video, everybody. As you saw, it is relatively simple, and the magic here is between the Orion app and then having that HDMI or that capture card dongle to allow you to use your iPad as a dummy display. This works with anything that has a USB-C port, so again, think entry-level iPad, think even MacBooks, as long as you download the Orion application, and it pretty much the sky's the limit. And this also works with anything that gives you a video out. So I've tested it with my Xbox, but I've tested it before with a PlayStation, I've tested it with my Nintendo Switch. I've even done this before with my Mac Mini to have this mobile iPad Pro Mac Mini setup. If you guys do wanna check that out, I'll leave it linked down below. But I do like to make this video every year to show you off the enhancements that have been made and also just to let people know that, hey, with your iPad and your Xbox Series S, you can put this in a backpack and you can literally game on the go as long as you have a power source. And I think that is something that I've dreamed about since I was a little kid and now it's a reality. So if you guys do wanna check it out, everything will be linked down below. And like I said, all you need is that $20 dongle and you're good to go. But if you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you wanna watch more videos like this one, check out one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everybody.